What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Terraria. So last episode, we were just kind of um, derping around, trying to get uh, souls and knights so we can make the uh, demon wings, I think. And uh, we kind of failed. We didn't get enough. So I said off camera I would go and get them, and I did. And I also actually got some other strange and interesting items. Uh, oops, so first of all, I got <clears throat> 13 gold total, which was from a bunch of, uh, not a bunch of, but a mimic. I found another mimic, it dropped like 9 gold, and I was like, what? So I guess the mimics do drop like a ton of gold. Also, I got another magic dagger as a drop, and this is all from getting these souls of night, by the way, which this, uh, this is a total, this is our total soul of night count. I also got a magic dagger, a meat grinder, which I don't think we have, I don't know what it does. And then a violent cross necklace, too, which was a drop as well, which increases the length of invincibility after taking damage, which is actually really good. Uh, and we can make something with it if we have, like, this other item that we don't have. Um, so first of all, I was going to put, put the meat grinder down. I don't know what it does, so I was going to go to the Wikipedia, da -da 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 Terraria Wiki, uh, meat grinder, because this thing could make something quite cool, or it could do nothing. It's used to create flesh blocks, which can be what? It can be places a block wall, crafting a set of flesh themed furniture. Right. It dropped from, a, I think, a floaty ghost. So, <clears throat> we have to use crimstone to turn into flesh blocks. Okay. I don't know what the point of this thing is. We have some crimstone here. We actually have a bunch of crimstone. Um, I have no idea, but hey, let's try it out, because it dropped, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna actually just move it over. Oh, okay, I guess that was as moved over as it could be. Okay, then. And here it is. Uh, first of all, we can make a mushroom workbench. That's interesting. Uh, flesh block. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> and apparently, yeah, flesh, <coughs> flesh workbench. Oh, yeah, we can make ichor torches, too, or I ichor, ichor torches, which apparently we should be making with our... With our ichor, because I guess they can go like underwater, which is kind of interesting. And then also, like, it makes like 33 per one piece of ichor. And I don't think it actually will help us anymore. As you can see from the guide, uh, we can make the flask of ichor, <clears throat> which is not really good at melee attacks. I mean, we can make bullets for them <clears throat> or with them, and that's not really helpful either. So, what we're gonna do is, I guess, we can make uh, the ichor torches. And that would be... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have to actually use normal torches, I think. Yeah, we do. Okay, right. But they can be placed in water, <clears throat> which is why it's better. Oh, my God, my voice. <laughs> they get placed in water, which is which is good. Okay, so, hey. There we go. Now we have a ton of freaking torches right there. Um, we can place the rest in here. I know I'm not doing anything for the first million seconds of this episode. Uh, but I want to... Yeah, well, we want to make the um, the thing, my bobber. The, I don't know why I made all those flesh blocks. It's pointless. Yeah, we also have the Violent Cross Necklace, which is really cool. I want to maybe think about uh, redoing its enchantment. Maybe putting it over the Warding Obsidian Skull. If we can actually get this thing to be warding, that'd be really good. So, let's go and do that before we do anything else. I got another banner, too. So much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. Not enough time. Um, so, yeah, we'll go down and we'll, uh, we'll reforge the... Uh, the necklace, because I think that, like, I mean, I know we can make it into something else. I don't think we have the materials for it, but, uh, yeah, we can do that. We can probably get it pretty, uh, pretty easily. Also, yeah, Magic Dagger sells for 20 gold, and we already have a better one, so I'm gonna sell that. And, uh, oh, yeah, I think, I think the Tyrone sells empty bullets, which should be able to be made into the flares, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so, yeah, let's go and reforge this necklace, and hopefully get it to be, like, f uh, warding. That'd be good. See, so yeah, it's only 10 silver. We have plenty of money. Okay, fleeting, menacing, armor, that's pretty good. But, I mean, it's only, yeah, it's only 10 silver. Let's just keep going. Intrepid, I want to get it to be, to be warding. That'd be good. Spiked, hard, <laughs> wild cross, hasty, guarding, it's not good. Rash, hard again, hard again. Okay, jagged, violent, which was what we started at. Come on, I, I can feel it. Precise. Because this is, um, menacing, lucky, violent again, spiked. Come on, just give me warding. Oh, that's armored again. Nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. We're already, we're already too far in. We're going for it. We're going for the, we're going for warding. We have plenty of money, too. We have a whole plan. Aha, warding. Okay, good. That wasn't that, that wasn't that bad. That's spelt like four gold. That's like not even one enchantment for other things. All right, so we'll get rid of the, uh, the warding obsidian skull and put in the warding cross necklace. Because that will be, oh my god, that'll be much better. Uh, okay, so the next thing, the next thing is we're going to actually make our wings. 
And then we're going to equip them and probably reforge those too. Uh, so what we need, hold on, first of all, yeah, we have a ton of gold here. It's nice. So we need uh, our souls of, of night, which we have. Um, well, let's just put the warding skull in this chest. So yeah, we have our souls of night. Uh, we have we need our souls of flight, which is right here, and then we need our feathers, and we can make this. And like I said, it's okay if you know we we have to upgrade this at some point. That's fine. Um, we'll just we'll just make another one. We have enough souls to really do it. Oh, where do I actually make this at? Guide. Wait, actually, first of all, hold on. I wanna I wanna quick stack. I wanna quick stack these these glowing mushrooms. Did we like run out of glowing mushrooms or something? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of bunch of torches, which is cool. I'm just, I'm just I'm just doing some organization real quick. I guess we don't really need the glow sticks, but I'll keep them anyway. All right. So guide, how do I make the the things the the wings? Um, let's see, demon wings. Uh, oh, or a calcum anvil. Okay, I guess it wasn't close enough to the anvil. All right, we have that. We have the mithril or or a calcum anvil. And there they are. Okay, demon wings. Hooray! See, so, yeah, I mean, it wasted a lot of our souls of night, but I can just get those back. Not that bad. We got rash, so we're gonna want to go and get those to be probably also, um, also, um, what am I trying to say? Also warding. So the thing is, I don't know what these should go over. I don't know if these should go over the boots, the the specter boots that allow flight. Cause I mean, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we can just kind of like. We can literally fly now, right? And yeah, there's no like... Oh, uh, okay, actually, there is an amount of flight we can do and then we start to glide. But, if we check it out, so it looks like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to go over the Spectre Boots. And I, I guess they, they can't like fly for that long, which is why we have to like upgrade them to be into something better. And the Guarding Sandstorm in a bottle, that's not really useful either. I mean, like it gives us a little bit more of a flight time. But I'm really sh pretty sure we can actually probably switch out both of those. Which is good, because that gives us more inventory space for other better um, uh, trinkets. We can add another one. Uh, okay, so what do we want to put... Like, what do we want to use? <laughs> That's the real question. Um, the warning lava charm's not that great. I want to put on something like... I mean, we already, ha yeah, we already have the cross necklace on, which is great. The cross necklace would be really helpful. Uh... We already have a band of generation, which, by the way, we should probably probably just like reforge that thing too. Because I mean, I don't really think we're gonna get anything to 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 craft into this. Because it's like what we need a philosopher's stone, which I don't even know what that drops from. Um, that would I mean that'd be great to get that, or man of regeneration band, or the, sorry, the band of star power, which I don't know how we get that either. Um, okay, so yeah, I, like I said the philosopher's stone. I'm pretty sure that has to just drop like randomly. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll reforge both of these, and then I'm trying to think, like, what, what else do we want to reforge? This is a lot of trinketing, <laughs> this episode, but, um, we've got to do it. Increase melee. <clears throat> There's got to be something for, like, magic we, we are not using, maybe? I guess not. We, we haven't really got anything good. We could use the, no, the ranger emblem's not really that great. Hmm. A silver watch? No, <laughs> it's not, it's not good either. I don't know. Uh, uh <laughs> climbing gear? Increase uh, panic necklace. I have no idea. What what should our last? All right, I, I might leave this to you guys. What do you think our last uh, thing should be? Our last um, item for now. We'll keep on. I guess the warding lava charm just for the defense. But uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think we should keep as a. Uh, oh, oh god, as a trinket. Oh, I just I just I took off all of my jumping items. That was weird. Okay, so for now, let us go with all of our money and uh, reforge some stuff. Reforge the wings and reforge the band of generation. And then in the latter half of this episode, we will go. Oh, we will actually go do stuff. I guess. Um, oh, God, I can't jump anymore. We'll go do stuff in the um, jungle. Okay, so the rash demon wings take 24 gold, so that's kind of hurts. Wild. Warding. Oh my God, we just got warding. That was. Holy, what are the chances of that? That was like the fourth enchantment or something. Let's see, Intrepid, Armored. Alright, you know what, we'll take Armored, because like I said, there is stuff better than that uh, band, so we'll take it. Alright, so good, now we have a bunch of um, bunch of armor, and we got some wings, which is nice. Yeah, th there's, these are definitely replacing, like, the boots. I mean, given, yeah, they don't fly that high, but still, it's enough. And they also have the glide ability, which is nice, because we don't ever, like, just die by falling down. Alright, so, um, okay, enough of that. I, I really want to actually get on to doing stuff. This episode. But we need to, we need to get that done. We need to get that out of the way. 
because there's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of trinket space that needed to be uh, done up. Okay, so <clears throat> now we can actually just glide all the way over to the jungle, which is nice. Uh, oh, we don't run super fast anymore. That kind of stinks. I mean, oh well. Uh, it, it is kind of nice. It's nice, like when you're, you know, when you're rushing over to an area. It's nice to do that. But when we're just kind of like in a zone in a jungle or something like that, it's not going to be really helpful to have the, uh, the, the quick like the specter boots part of it, not the rocket boots part. But uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, let's go over. This is nice. We can glide like pretty much over all the terrible places. Okay, and I mean, we get enough. We get enough of uh, of height to just kind of make the glide be um, sort of worth it. Like, the, like we're we'll pretty much we glide just as fast as we were to have sprinted. So I think that's good. Oh, die! Get out of here. Okay. So yeah, uh, more money would be probably good because I know we're gonna have to reforge some other better items later on. Um, I mean that the money we had pretty much just served its purpose because we gotta we were forged everything we wanted. We got warding, we got warding, we have warding, warding and armor. That's great. Because I mean, you know, if we're gonna go all mana and magic and stuff, we have to kind of. I mean, we really should be using some defense enhancements for our trinkets because. Uh, we don't really have any defense. All right, so let's go over. To, I, I want to just, I guess, go over to the place where we already were, and um, and kind of just explore a little bit more. I think I'm just gonna probably, probably just go all the way down into and just don't not even worry about anything. You know, like go all the literally as far down as we can, to the point where we died against freaking Plantera like an idiot. Okay, so here we are. Um, oh yeah, right. Uh, you guys mentioned that last time I was down here. I guess I missed some of the green chlorophyte ore, and uh, I, I mean, I don't even know what it looks like, so this time I'm gonna actually keep my eyes open, um, since it is like, it's like the best ore in the game, it's like the second best like armor set in the game, and um, I really need it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to maybe get an entire armor set of it before we fight Plantera, and um, apparently I was missing it like left and right last uh, the last time we were down here. So this time, um, I, I don't know, I'm not seeing it, but, alright, keep my eyes open. Because, I mean, I, I guess it's just, like, green ore, and I just, like, it just, I guess, blended in with the background for me. I didn't know what it looked like, so, hey. Okay. Also, I'm gonna actually start, because I still didn't, I didn't, like, look up what the life fruit looks like. So, I mean, now that I know the plantera fruit, I'm not gonna kill that, but, um, hopefully I can distinguish the life fruit as well. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, these 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 wings will do fine. It's okay if they're not the best wings. It's really it really is all, all right. I mean, they're, they're they're they serve their purpose. Okay. So okay, is that right there? Is this chlorophyte? Oh, it is. I totally didn't even see it. Holy crap! We must have just walked, literally walked right past it. Oh my God. All right. So now we know what it looks like. It's actually very hard to see. I I was told I should maybe go in with um. Um, Splunker potions <laughs> and do it like that. But I mean, before we do that, I want to get like you know the the easy core fight or first uh, before we use our Splunker potions um, on it. I mean, given the Splunker potions will be will be probably useless after we get all the core fight. All right, well you know what? I I actually kind of forgot to. So next time, next time I'll bring in <clears throat> I'll bring in Splunker potions. Okay. <clears throat> Cause yeah, I actually I forgot to bring them down. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we have some that we just got from the uh, the chests everywhere, which is cool. Oh god, die! All right, <clears throat> let's just keep going down. I said I was just gonna ignore everything, so let's just actually do that. Let's kind of follow what I was gonna what I said, and we'll just yeah we'll keep our eyes open for the ore. But beyond that, we just want to get to a point where we are getting uh, some of the life fruit, cause that'd be good too. I mean, it's like the life fruit and the chlorophyte. That's really where I'm. Oh wait, there's some right there. Where I'm kind of aiming at to be before I actually really challenge Plantera. Man, I literally probably walked over this. That's so crazy. It just, it looks like everything else. It's so green. Everything else is so green. It's hard to see. Especially when, you know, you don't know what it looks like. Okay. Die, giant tortoise. I guess these guys drop, like, an item that is used to make one of the better um, armor sets in the game, which is cool. Like, it's like the defensive armor set. Is that? Oh, I, <clears throat> I think that's some Clarify too. Yeah, look at that. Cool. I guess it's probably why we need the, um, the, um, oh my god, there's one right, there's another vein right here. It's so hard to see, I don't know why. 
I think it's just because of all the other like weird little like green um, patches in the in the in the jungle. This is good though. This is good. I'm pretty sure uh, core fight is a freaking pain in the butt to actually make the the ingots out of though. Uh, I hear it takes I think six core fight ore to make one ingot, which is insane. Because uh, every I mean the highest I've you know we've ever worked with is five, like the five to one ratio. And I'm pretty sure this is at six, which is a little bit dumb. Um, but it means it's gonna we're gonna be probably taking out core fight forever. Ooh, we got a whoopee cushion. How oh, nice. All right, any core fight around here? I'm not seeing any. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh wait, is that some? Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh look at that pickaxe statue. Eh, <laughs> not not anything special. Okay. All right, let's get out of there. I like. I really do like how the the ichor or ichor torches can work underwater. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so good. And we're also, you know what? We're not taking that much damage because of all the the defensive upgrades we just got. All right, which way did I think we went this direction? Looks like. There we go. We, I mean, just the hovering ability of these wings is like enough. You know, it's like having an umbrella. I guess we can kind of take off the umbrella from inventory now since this just kind of overlapped the umbrella's usefulness. That's a pretty... That umbrella is, you know, that thing lasts. Like, we never really had a nice way to float until just now. Like, you have to get pretty far into hard mode before the umbrella actually becomes, like, useless. It's a good item to get. Alright, any other... Oop, is that Ecor? Or not Ecor, but core fight? Yes. Cool. Oh, I think there's some right above us, too. Right to our... To the north... It's the northeast. Some core fight right here. It's coming in really small veins, which I'm just not good. Uh, this is a decently sized vein. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. This is a decently... Oh, God. Yeah, get out of here, giant tortoises. Back. Okay. Let's grab up all this. Actually, yeah, this is a pretty big one. This is like... I mean, this is only like three ingots, though. It's crazy. But it's better than nothing. Okay. Very nice. All right. This is a uh, 62, so that's... I think it's why I said six to one. Yeah, six to one. Um, so that's ten ingots, which is not even one piece of armor <laughs> from all of that we just collected. It's not even even one piece of armor. Okay, we've been down here, right? I think so. Is that a mimic or an actual chest? I don't remember. It is an actual chest. Yeah, it looks like I just kind of stuff stuff in it. All right, let's keep going. Let's just let us just keep going down. Uh, looking for core fight left and right. Trying not to miss any of it. So yeah, it does look like it's kind of in the wall. Like the most, like most of it's been just in the wall, which is why the um, Splunker potions would probably be really good. I think I might make this a little bit of a long episode. I know I spent some of the, I spent like the first like 10 minutes doing nothing. So we'll go a little bit longer. I'm thinking like, yeah, we might make this like a 30 minute. Do like half an hour, it'd be kind of cool. Oop. And I mean like, I just want to explore around here. Unless we die, <laughs> we'll be, whatever comes first. Half an hour or death. How's that? I don't really just I want to find a heart fruit. I just want to find one. Just one heart fruit, just so I know what it looks like. Not another Plantera summoner guy thing. Man, look at this. Yeah, like the core fight, it's like it's like so hidden and, and it comes in like just such little veins. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, let's go this way. I'm just gonna keep going down the lighted path, because I know it actually leads somewhere, which is nice. Okay, so I don't think we actually went down here the last time we explored the, uh, the jungle. So that's nice. Some new area. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we already died by now. Ow. Hey. Um, alright, so yeah, let's keep going. I'm pretty sure we will hit, I think, do we hit a dead end? I know we hit the Queen Bee place. I don't remember if there's anything after that, though. I don't, I don't think, is there? I mean, I know, we, I think we just, we fought the Queen Bee and then we just stopped. Like, when we actually bought it. We just, we, we didn't go any farther down. I was just kind of done. Oh my god, giant tortoise. I think I just stopped after that. So I guess we'll see. We'll see if there's anything else after. We can just dig, too. We have a really nice, a really nice digger. No? Oh, any core fight? No? Okay. Yeah, there's no, like, mounds of it, you know? Like, there's no mounds of core fight just kind of jutting out of the ground. It's all just kind of, like... It's all just kind of like hidden. All right, here we go. I think this is yeah. We're starting to get to the lowest point. There should be a chest. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, there's the queen bee. Yeah, there's the chest. Oop, there's some core fight. There's the queen bee area. Um. Oh, I didn't bring any bucket. Do I have a bucket? Oh my god, I actually have a bucket. Oh, let's bring some honey with us. That's like the uh, regenerating honey stuff. Let's 
Let's actually get a bucket of that. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why I have just a bucket just lying around. Ooh, here we go. There's actually another... Uh, I guess this actually isn't another cave. Or is it? No. Just some cobalt. Alright. Ooh, that's lava. So that looks like... I don't even know if that's even the jungle anymore, actually. That could can, that can very much well be not the jungle. We'll go, we'll go kind of over there, maybe. If this doesn't lead anywhere. Because it does look kind of like an open area. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's... Get up some of these, get some of this honey. Oh god, some of this honey right here. Can I, oh, there we go. Okay, we got a, a honey bucket, nice. I think we can actually summon the queen bee with that now, I wanna say. All right, so it does look like, oh yeah, there is like another, hmm. So I guess lava is just kind of natural in the jungle. It's interesting. Well, first off, I want what I wanna do is, oh god, get out of here. What I wanna do is actually just dig down. I think that's a better idea uh, before going into, oh, look at that chlorophyte right here. Before going into the... Oh, hold on, actually, right here, look at this. There looks like an opening. Nice. Okay, so this does this does lead into other things. Cool. I think I just saw some chlorophyte. Yep, right to our left. Let's go and grab some of that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the whole deal is with the, with the lava, but hey, I'll keep going down. Whew. Yeah, I mean, you know, also I was thinking about it. What if, like, that summoner pod, whatever flower, was like the only one, and we just like wasted our only shot at killing Plantera. I mean, it doesn't look like those things are like spawning, you know, regularly, which isn't good. Hopefully we didn't like, you know, waste our, ch our like one chance. Or, I mean, it, it might be like really difficult to actually get another one. Oh my god, look at all this. Cool. Well, hey, we'll be ready for it, it looks like. I see a, a tortoise up there? Yeah. Spinning around. I guess we'll be ready for it. If we have enough, if we can actually get a nice chlorophyte set, that'd be great. I think I'm not going to actually start wearing the chlorophyte until we get the entire thing done. Because I want to keep the set bonus. Oh, look at that chest. I want to keep the set bonus from my um, hallowed armor. So I'm not going to actually do that. I'm not going to I'm not gonna start just wearing the chlorophyte left and right. We'll, we'll wait until the entire set's made and then, we'll, and then we'll wear it all. And I'm pretty sure it'll just give us another, like, you know, a better magic bonus and probably better defense and stuff. Which is cool. I want to say, like, we need probably, like, 400 ore pieces or something, probably to make an entire armor set. Maybe, like, maybe more than that. Or maybe a little less. I don't know. We're, like, at 126. We can, we can definitely make some of it, but definitely not all of it. All right. Let's dig out all this mud, try to get over to this chest. Hopefully this thing actually holds something nice. That's weird. It just kind of, like, spawned in the middle of nowhere. It's actually just in a wall, isn't it? I don't think this actually really opens up to anything, does it? Let's see. Hello? No, it looks... Yeah, this is just kind of literally in a wall. I'm glad they put in the torches. We would have totally missed this. Is that golden bricks? Nice. Okay, what do we got? We got another... Sh oh, a strong staff of regrowth. Uh, throwing knives... Oh, a splunker potion! Wow! That's... That's pretty good. How long does this last? Five minutes. Right, you know what? How about we activate it right now? Holy crap. Oh my god. I did not realize there was so much ore everywhere. Ooh, wait, is this... This isn't life fruit, is it? No, it was just a chest. Okay, never mind. I do see some chlorophyte down there. Um, I was seriously not expecting that much ore to just kind of pop up. That's pretty cool. But this is good. We can actually see... Ow, we can see everywhere. So, ah, come on. Let's, um, let's dig down here. I'm not going to go over to that four pieces of chlorophyte over there. I don't think it's really worth it. But let's get this stuff. There we go. Nice. So wait, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm only going to really get the core fight. I think that's probably the only thing worth while, obviously. Oh, what's that? I think I just saw like a statue. It's like a shield statue? Interesting. Okay. Um, all right, there's some core fight to our left and some core fight beneath us. I'm just like, this, this, this drill just makes it so we don't really, like walls aren't a thing anymore, which is nice. Okay, let's grab some of this. There we go. Now, I heard that the Splunker Potions actually light up the the life fruit, so hopefully we'll get some of that, too. Alright, let's stick down here past this cobalt and get this chlorophyte. Oh, come on. I can't see anything, even though I have the Splunker Potion on. I can't see everything around me. Alright, let's, um... I guess there's another vein over to our right, which is nice. That was such a good find. Like, what are the chances we just find a Splunker Potion just kind of chilling there? All right, cool. I mean, yeah, we have some at, at the house, and we also have, like, I think we have the means to make some, too. 
but this is nice. This is nice for this little excursion. Alright, ah, die. Alright, let's, yeah, this is actually a lot over here, so let's get this. And then we can kind of move our way down. I, I'm just so, like, look how much ore is just in the walls. It's crazy. Is that some, oh my god, wait, maybe that's a, I think that might be a life fruit right there. Either that, or that's like a bunch of crim, crim, crimtain. <laughs> Just kind of sitting there. I think that's going to be a life fruit, actually. That's what's kind of looking like. So they're just, like, stuck in the walls. That's so dumb. I'll never be able to find them without the Splunker Potions. Okay. Good. A lot of core fight. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here we go. I think that's our, probably our biggest vein we got. Alright, now. This better not, like, summon something. I'd be really pissed. This looks... This looks good. Oh, it is just Crimtain. Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. That, that was the two things it could have been. I was like, it might just be a bundle of crimtain. Or it can actually be a life fruit. It looked strange. It looked very strange. It was just crimtain. That, that sucks a lot. Alright, hold on. It looks like we have another little entrance here. But I want to go and get this, this core fight over this way. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what the hell... Oh, you know what? I'm just, I might just wiki, like, what does the life fruit look like. Because this is just making me mad now. That's the second thing I thought was life fruit. And I was wrong. Alright, oop. Dodged ya. Okay, oop. Is there anything actually down here? No. There's some core fight there. Let's try to find a more natural um, way down. That looks pretty good. But I want to go, I think, down this way. Probably be better. I wanna, I'm trying to, like, get to here. Oop, yeah, here we go. This is, this looks much more natural. Okay. Oh, here we are. Nice entrance. Okay. <clears throat> Any more core fight? Now that we can see everything. Ooh. No. Uh, there's just like there's like just little like bits and bobs of it, which I'm not I'm not liking that. I want like a giant a giant ore vein. Ow. Oh, okay. There's some moon glow over to our left. That's not anything we want. All right. I, I once I once I actually get a life fruit, I'm gonna be ecstatic. I bet like they're gold or something crazy colored. Cause these are just this is just not even funny. Oh, there we go. There's a big huge core fight. Oh, and there's another one down there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, just search around. I think. Yeah, there's nothing really over there that way. Alright, <clears throat> let's go for this right here. So, yeah, I mean, I could look up... Let's, let's just try to think of it. It's probably 25 ore for the chest. And I think, like, probably another total of 25 for the other two pieces. So that's, like, 50. So 50 times 6 is 300 pieces. So, yeah. We're going to be probably digging for a while. Um, Alright, we have 25 seconds left on this thing. It looks like, so it's telling us that there's a core fight down here, which is nice. We can actually just get down here and maybe see if there's anything else real quick. No, oh, it doesn't actually look like there's anything near us. Oh, there's a weird statue of a woman. Okay, oh wait, there actually is, sorry, so some core fight over this way too. It's good to know. Oh, and there's another bee, a honeybee uh, biome thing. That's cool. Alright, there we go. So let's get all this. Alright, and there goes our potion. That was good. It was really good. We got we got a ton of core fight from that, which is nice. Okay. I mean, if we can like average, you know, like 40 core fight per spelunker potion, that's that's even you know lowballing it. Woman statue, right? Oh, oh, dodge. Um, if we can average like maybe like 60 per per uh, spelunker potion, then we're doing pretty well. Okay. All right. So I think we're gonna wrap it up probably here. I don't think I'm gonna go and fight another queen bee. Even though I'd probably probably kill it real quick. I don't I just don't wanna have to dig through all that. If there's an opening I will, but I mean it didn't really drop anything that great. Oh wow, get the ruby. It didn't really drop anything that, you know, amazing. So it's not really worth it. And it looks like oh, okay, one last thing of core fight. We'll call it right here. This will be the last one. Okay, so um we can go back, we can make all the ore, and we can try to see exactly how much we're gonna need. Because, um, I just know it's going to be a million. And we'll come back and probably get the rest of it. But we'll come back with the Spelunker Potion, which will be smarter. Alright. So, real quick. Real quick. Aha! Corified bars. Okay. We... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it does take six. We made 43 of them. Let's see. So, we might be only a little bit off, actually. So, Corified... Oh, my God. Okay, I think Spectre Hoods and Spectre Armor. I want to say this is the armor we're going to be making. Because it all is increased magic. And it takes ectoplasm, which we have to get from the dungeon after we beat Plantera. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. 
So, for now... Oh my god, so we're gonna have to go back and get more Chlorophyte. If we actually want to make the Chlorophyte armor as well. Ugh. So we're gonna need a lot of Chlorophyte, it looks like. Because this will take another 12 plus 18. That's 30. This will take another 54 bars. That's not that bad. I don't know. That's like one episode of doing it. Alright, so anyway. So, we want to make the... The headgear, which is 12, okay. The plate mail, which is 24, so it's 36. And then the grease, which is 18. So we're looking at 54. So we need like another 11 or so bars, which isn't bad. That's not that's not too, too bad. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll keep it. We will keep it uh, locked up and uh, safe. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually... Oh, we got a, j a jungle creeper banner. That's cool. We're going to actually want to take our um, Splunker potions with us this time. Which are right here. Okay, we have seven of them. That's enough. So next episode, I think we're gonna return and just kind of uh, repeat. We'll rinse, wash, and repeat. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And um, until next episode, I will see you all later.